can't stand this anymore. It's not about payback, man. You're out of luck, kiddo. I don't need any more recruits for the monster hunt. Now get out of my face before I lose my temper. There's a lot of planning to do. Tried Blue Sparkle last night? It's like all your worries go away at once. Never seen you at the court before. How do you like Jericho City's new state-of-the-art mall? The real stores closed down a long time ago, but you can still do some business if you're willing to pay an arm and a leg. I... I... I, I, I didn't mean that literally, okay? You never know if you're talking to one of those crazy limb-cutting SOBs nowadays. <laughs> Looking for something to buy? I'd love to make you an offer, but my hands are tied. After that nasty defrag disease broke out, I helped as much as I could. So whatever the children of the spark smuggled into the city for a fraction of the price. After a while, I was drowning in debt, so I borrowed a bit of money from a nice young gentleman. I should have known better. He turned out to be nothing but a loan shark, and I was easy prey. But I'm no dotty old lady, you see. I know what's going on. His threats get more brazen every day. Soon he'll come after my grandkids. Are you sure? I don't have anything to give you for your trouble, not even a penny. If you really think you can do it, look for a guy called Finn and tell him Miss Fox sent you. He's doing most of his business in Port Nixon these days. I owe him 2,000 tech scrap. If you can make that villain cancel my debt, I could buy new wares and stock my shelves again. I should warn you, though. Finn is a shrewd businessman. He'll try to con you out of everything you own. Time was that little cheat would have already been thrown in jail. But nowadays, it's all about image. Below the surface, he's a con man through and through. Finn knows how to play the victim card. He'll take you to the cleaners if you give him any kind of edge. Thanks for asking, young'un. I've learned a lot of things during my long life, so I'll just say this. You only start caring about money once you don't have any. I just don't know what I'll do if Finn comes after me or my grandkids. Well, well. Haven't seen anyone from your line of work for a while. Most builders have been busy toiling away on the big wall. Not you, though, eh? I won't ask your reasons. Here, take this. You may need it. If you want to go to the harbor, ask Brother Eli or get stuffed. We'll never make it out of here. None of us will. Worship Lord Eli. Hey, need some wicked drone implants? Cool by me, either way, but... You gotta get on with it. I have so much stuff on my mind, it feels like my brain is gonna explode. Yeah, you touch it, you buy it. We clear? Worship Lord Eli. I'm warning you, this is your final chance. 
Who sent you? Was it my brother? G yeah! Of course. I should have known. But, but why... Why did that witless cretin Johnny ask you to spy on me, Declan? No reason to hold back. He thinks... You're out to get him! He thinks what? It's not like he's leaving me with a choice, is it? I've always honored our faith. Preached the good word and welcomed lost sheep into our flock. That's it. I give up. He will never learn the error of his sinful ways. He's brought this on himself by gorging himself on junk food like a glutton, indulging in carnal pleasures and selling drugs to washed up junkies like... like yourself. Wastrels, fornicators, heathens, the lot of them. You people disgust me. Soon our most glorious day shall dawn. The skies will be rent asunder with a deafening roar. The harbingers will descend and dispense holy, righteous justice. We will cast off our frail skin, flee our prison of the flesh once and for all. Soon there will be neither man nor machine, just eternal life. Do you really think that fat slob Johnny of all people will be the one to bring forth this new dawn? Trust me, Declan, this discussion is far from over. Justice will be served one way or another. I know there's something you haven't told me. Who sent you? Was it my brother? Y yeah! Of course, I should have known. But why... Why did that witless cretin... Welcome to our humble chapel. They call me Brother Eli. I've been taking a lot of lost souls under my wing. My disciple Truman told me of your coming. But enough about me. Tell me about yourself. The gateway to Port Nixon is locked for a reason. Nobody gets in or out without my express consent. You really don't know who I am? How unusual. I'm Matriarch Celeste's eldest son, a humble shepherd with small ambitions. Everything I do is to serve the glory of the Spark and its mighty nanite harbinges. As they descend from the heavens, a new dawn rises. Even now, we lead the charge, providing power and food to the surviving few, whether they join our cause or not. A hardened criminal, huh? Tell me, why did they arrest you? Yeah, I remember that crash all too well. Damn plane came down in the middle of Port Nixon. Almost took out our cathedral. The spark must have guided you to me. I know what a coincidence looks like, and this ain't one. Glad you asked. I'm in deep water. Supplying our fellow men with salvaged goods is getting harder by the minute. Everything I've accomplished is at stake, and the biggest threat is right here inside my own ranks. I've got a bit of a family issue going on. My brother, little Johnny, has always been in charge of poor Nixon's streets. After the nano machines appeared, the outsiders came to drive us away. Our time had come, a real chance to prove our gospel's truth. We won. Johnny's warped mind wouldn't give up the substance we used to expand our minds and bodies, the blue sparkle. Now he's nothing but a drug lord. Someone has to bring him to justice. I'd confront him myself, but there'd be hell to pay if anybody saw me interfering, as it were. Only an outsider can take care of this mess. My associate downstairs will let you pass through the harbor gate now. Report to me once you put things to rest. 
He's hiding out in an old terminal in Jericho's Harbor District, Port Nixon. The methods you use don't matter to me. All I care about are the results. His sinfulness must come to an end. Once and for all. To be honest, we've benefited a lot from his supplies. But now that I know how he's earned his dirty money, I have no choice but to wash my hands of him. We've given him more than enough chances. Who? Him? He's just one of my little brother's pushers. I caught him red-handed with a stash of drugs. I've been trying to make him come clean for hours, but he's been, well, shall we say, rather stubborn. He'll change his mind soon enough. Sinners always do. Port Nixon is one of the oldest districts in Jericho. The whole city grew from that area. Nowadays, it's a hotbed for crime and violence. That's why our church is so important. We are Port Nixon's beacon, its shining light. We bring hope and optimism. Or at least we did until little Johnny corrupted our holy cause. May the spark guide you. Survivor. We lost the girl. We failed our mission. I'll have my revenge. Just you wait. You goddamn bastards. Come on, just try it. It'll expand your consciousness. But what if there's no going back? My brother had a dose of blue sparkle once. Of hey, can you hear me, morons? Who turned the damn power back on? 
I shut this man bay down for a reason, you good for nothing gas bags! What? You trying to be a wise guy, are you? We'll see how witty you are after I've strangled you with your own vocal cords! Idea. They'll find. Repent your sins, heathen. Judgment day is nigh. The spark will strike. The world will change. piece of tech scrap so I can feed me starving fam. I can show you the way, Gov. Been round Jericho for decades. Of course, I was living a bit more upmarket back in the day. Only a couple of months ago, I was one of Creo's biggest shareholders. Nowadays, the only thing I can hold is me drink. Well, that's mighty generous, Gov. If you want to know anything about this bleeding city, just say the word, Mortimer Gideon the Third is at your service. <coughs> That bloated pile of pus Johnny runs his ruddy drug empire in that crap hole. 
Peddles some stuff called Blue Sparkle all over the ruddy armor. Stuff's more addictive than bourbon. Or so I've heard. Hmm, let me think. Hey, you see that street right in front of you? That's your direct route. I'll tell you, it's pure anarchy down there. But if you're a bit of a wuss, just use the ruddy side road. Might be able to avoid a lot of hassle that way. And then again, I wouldn't journey into the unknown all on my own. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I appreciate your patronage, Gav. I'm so scared. I just don't know what he'll do to me if nobody... Of course. It's what I...
Lord. 